Uh, Mark, you just mentioned uh, the slideshow about HyperCard showing about 100 very cool stacks. Um, that would be a good one to, to pull together on this because sometimes those are the inspirations for I could do that in live code in less than two hours or two days or something like that. Okay, I'm reading the chat because we're having a little interaction here. I can, of course, put up a bunch more links. They're all on that one page, so you can cruise them anytime you want now that it's you know on the web. Um, if anybody has something they really want to just toss into the mix, maybe we could have a little download center for some of this, too. I know a couple people, like I said, that archive almost anything to do with HyperCard, Runtime Revolution, and people's efforts on those categories. So even though those people might have moved on to something else and don't care, they're unreachable, we could still pull together quite a few things that um, are important to us. Well, I know one thing that tends to be, uh, they're bringing up the uh, issue here of a um, server space, and one thing that tends to be an issue is people move servers or they're in a location where they have access to a server, then they take a new job in a year or two. Um, I have server space that can be used, and uh, that would be something I'd be willing to do. The server space I'm using won't change because I'm not going to be changing that server location even if I move to a different city. What's interesting is there are, some, there are two people I met in the last two weeks from New Zealand and Australia who are university level. They are using Revolution and are looking into using it even more. So uh, interesting projects there, again, in the, uh, the education area. Um, Clarke brings up a good point. The challenge is to improve the signal-to-noise ratio. Um, that means, you know, the stuff that really doesn't pass muster. Somebody started on it, but then they acknowledge they didn't finish it. Uh, the has some bugs in it, or doesn't really work right, or isn't the best code, or got to the point of starting custom properties and then just said, oh, to heck with it, but they still put it up there. And uh, we could throw them in the hopper saying, you know, until they you know, are reviewed by somebody, they wouldn't be thrown into the good column. Um, but then there are some out there like Tactile Media. I'm going to put that one up there just because this comes into tactilemedia.com. Uh, this is a site that is on the list. But there are a lot of examples here of high quality. So yes, it does make a difference when there's quality. Well, good. And some of the education people are stuck with using old versions of, of you know, uh, either Rev Media, Dream Card, because that's all they can afford or that's what they've been using for so long. They just keep teaching the same lessons using the old software. We would like to try and put in new versions that match today's live code. In the education area, of course, you want to have the legacy software because some people just don't have the newest version. They aren't going to get the newest version for a long time, but they would like to have some of the new stuff. Well, thank you for the uh, the big hand for the uh, the collection. It's that you mentioned that it's my collection. Well, actually, it's our collection because it's on the Live Code site. Live Code TV. Links. And send them to me, and I'll keep modifying this. We're gonna the categorizing is important and uh, maybe links to pages that contain the, the links is what we really want to do is a, as a meta site rather than a, an individual link site. I suppose what I should do is wave goodbye and say thank you for paying attention. And um, like I said, I'm going to be editing so that the, the silent part, the silent movie, a throwback to the really old days, uh, doesn't appear in the on-demand version. Thanks again.